What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So for today's topic, I'm going to teach you how to import Excel data to your Dynamo. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. So on our search bar here, so let's key in here Excel, the word Excel, so that we'll be able to see the tools that we can use uh, to get information or bring information to your Excel. And then we now have here Import Excel, the other one is Export. Now we will be using here Import Excel, so we are going to talk about ex uh, Export Excel later on. All right, but for this video, I'm going to show you how to use Import Excel. All right, so I'm going to show you first the Excel file that we are going to import. So it's a pretty simple Excel, uh, Excel file that I have uh, got from my Revit model. Okay, so this is the Excel file. So this is the Excel file that we are going to import to our Dynamo. Okay, so as you can see, we only have uh, three uh, columns here. So we have the type mark, co common name, and then account. Okay, and then we have uh, eight rows. All right, and then the sheet name here is a planting schedule. Okay, so the sheet name is planting schedule. Letter P, capital P, and then letter S, capital as well. All right, so we need to be particular on putting this sheet name here on our node here. Here on the sheet name. Okay, so we need to key in the name of the worksheet containing the data, and then we will be using a string. Okay, so basically we need to uh, get our string node. String. So by the way, I'm going to close this one this uh, planting schedule because later on if we successfully imported our Excel file to our Dynamo automatically notice that your Excel will open okay so right now it's closed okay now uh, we need to have a string here which is this one there you go okay so like I have said so we need to key in exactly the name of the sheet which is uh, planting schedule okay and then we are going to connect that to our sheet name okay so what else so we need the node that we can connect to our file here okay so i'm going to look for file path so this is another node that we need file path okay and then we also need a uh, file from path okay so take note of this so as you can see it's yellow there's an error. So every time you see a yellow node, there, there's, a, there's an error. So meaning, uh, at the moment, we don't have yet path that is connected to this node. So it's okay if it is uh, yellow. So we are going to address that later on. So what else? I think we are pretty much complete. So we don't need to uh, put uh, another Boolean node here and then here. So I only need my data from Excel using the file and sheet name. Now I need to browse it where I save my Excel file, which is here on my document. So planting schedule. So it's now there. I'll just arrange my notes. And then after that, I'm going to connect now this output to my path here. As you can see, the moment you connect, the yellow colors disappear. So it's now corrected. Now, as you can see, the output is file. So I'm going to click that and then connect that to my file here. There you go. And then automatically, without me opening the Excel, the Excel itself opens, right? So it's a good sign. So I'm now going to minimize this one. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to hover my pointer here to see the preview. Okay. And then you can pin that or, of course, you can look for watch node. You can click that watch node and then you can connect that one here. There you go. Okay, so as you can see, these are now our data. And then if we are going to check out our Excel here, I'm going to put it side by side. Okay, you see our index zero here, it actually shows our first uh, first row, right? So it's on index zero, we have type mark, common name, and then count. There you go. 
type mark, common name, and then count. And then on our index one, so we have P1, Honey Locust, and 8. There you go. So we have P1, Honey Locust, number 8. So that's our index 2, which is row number 2 here on our Excel. Okay, so basically, and so on and so forth. So you will be able to see now the data from Excel file being imported in your uh, Dynamo. Right, so basically, that's how you do it. Now, uh, let's try to um, add more two nodes that, uh, on a, that can be used. So let's look at first item. Okay, you can pick that one. So we use this to inspect uh, tools. Okay. So I'm going to connect my data here. So as you can see, list first item. So returns the first item in our list. So the first item on our, on our list is type mark common name count. So that's how it works basically. So just for checking. So you can click that one and then connect the, to the list. And then instead of using the watch, you can hover your pointer. And then you can pin that. So basically, as you can see, that's our first item. It's the same here. So that's the first item. So if you want to get the rest of the items, so as you can see, there's rest of items. So you can click that one. So you can also use that. Okay. And then you can connect the data again. Put it there. Okay. And then you hover your pointer, hover, and then pin. So there you go. So there, there's the rest of your items. Okay, so the rest of the items is, you can see T1 Honey Locust 8. See, T1 Honey Locust 8. So this is the first item, and then this is the rest of the item. So you can also use this um, nodes just for checking, okay, or, or inspecting. So as you can see, it's under the inspect and also under the modify, the rest of items. Okay, so as one final step, so we are going to group all these nodes together. All right, so that we can easily identify in the future that they are all working together to import data from Excel. So I'm going to show you how to group your nodes. Okay, so we can add these nodes to a group by selecting all, select all. Okay, and then after that, you go to edit. And then there's the create group or you can also press Control G. So select all of these items. And then you can press Control G. There you go. And then you can change the name here. Just double click. And then you can just put the name here. So you can put like uh, uh, importing. Oops. Importing data from Excel. Okay. Importing data from Excel. There you go. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So once again, thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.